<laughs> so there's more bad news for Democrats. Okay. Looks like the state of New Jersey, my birth state, is in play for Donald Trump, according to at least him and his sycophants. For Donald Trump? <laughs> that, He's where, like, where, if Florida's where, in play, New Jersey's in play for me. <laughs> right. Exactly. So New Jersey's in play. So if you saw a 12 point or more lead for Joe Biden, New Jersey, that's more realistic than the 12 point lead in Nevada mm -hmm. for Donald Trump over. Um, uh, I can assure you that New Jersey is not voting for Donald Trump. <laughs> not happening. That I promise you. Those um, people at that rally were like out of there. They were just like, ugh. Well, we've got some clips from that rally, and I know people have seen this. But first, before we play some of the clips, let's um, let's play Donald Trump talking about his rally in New Jersey this week, and he's complaining that the media is not covering the amount of people that. Were oh there. my God! <laughs> this is generally a Democrat state. I think we're probably leading in New Jersey. We had a rally. Over 100,000 people this weekend. A lot of the mainstream media didn't want to say how many people they didn't want to cover. Guess what? Neither did the propaganda media didn't say it was over 100,000. Uh, but uh, in fact, I don't think anybody did. I, I hear the... He didn't think anybody did. He's right. not shown by the mainstream media, which is what they tell me. But that's far for the course. Uh, yeah. Oh. So again... He is the snake oil salesman, and there are people that are going to hear that, and they're going to go like, yep, there's the media again not reporting that 100,000 people were at the rally in Wildwood, New Jersey. Um, Roger Stone, another um, Donald Trump sycophant MAGA weirdo. Uh, yeah, Lawrence Taylor, rapist. Yeah, rapist. Lawrence Taylor showed up, but Roger Stone posted a picture oh. on Twitter saying oh. – Look at the crowd. New Jersey's in play. This wow. is unbelievable. That kind of thing. Oh my! Like what about Twitter is though, Lana. Oh. They do have Twitter notes now, and right underneath it said, "This is a picture from a concert, Rod Stewart concert in Rio de Janeiro, like in two thousand." Hilarious! Hilarious! Like, what? dude, how why stupid? lie? What? Like, why are you lying? Because he said to, to talk about the crowd size. Talk about the crowd size. Like, this is. It's so stupid. Oh my, God. oh, my God. It really is stupid. And Lana, you alluded to this, but here's a clip of Donald Trump on stage. And um, let's take a look at the crowd participation. Frank Sinatra and so many more. <laughs> New Jersey is where General George Washington led the yeah, army the to victory to up. at Princeton. And this is down. where generations of New Jersey patriots helped build this country into the single greatest nation. So, Lana, if you went, and I'm not going to play that whole clip, but if you went to a concert, right, it was like a concert of somebody that you were dying to see, and there were hundreds or there's tens of thousands of people there, and you might get to a point where you're like, okay, or, or would you, would you stay for the entire concert? Or is there a party that might go, okay, we're going to leave a little early to beat the traffic. If you were one of those people to leave early to beat the traffic, what percentage of those people do you think would leave early a concert of somebody they were dying to see? I mean, it depends on. I'd say <laughs> very low. I would say almost nobody would leave and they'd stay till the end. Yeah, that looks like really almost like nobody was there. there. So no, they were out. They're like, did oh. 98,000 people leave? Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, you know what was funny? Sorry about the dogs. I was going to say, what the hell is my going on? Back there? My daughter is, they hear her when she drives up. Ah, so they, stop they get working. excited. Yeah, they cry like mm -hmm. there's one down. <laughs> yeah, but what the roller coaster? That is like the roller coaster mm -hmm. going up yeah. and down. Like people are going to the park, <laughs> going about their business. They're like, you know, like oh Jesus. And you know, I know people from New Jersey. Some of them were probably looking and go. They looked at it like a car wreck. Some of them. They were like, this is in a public space, right. at obviously a place that had rides and stuff like that. So this is not some oh, people. Weird didn't go there specific specifically right. for that right they were walking by it and going oh jesus christ this fucking guy 
Yeah. And then there were people who were just there and like, oh, let's go in and see what's going on. Right. Like, yeah. and they're counted in his 100,000. Like, okay. 100, so there definitely was wasn't 100,000. At Park. most, maybe 15,000, maybe. maybe. Um, and then, of course, many of them dissipated and did right. not listen to the rest of his dribble. But if they did, they would have heard this doozy. Uh, <laughs> we're we're already kind of beating ourselves up about the polls and what people are remembering about Donald Trump and and and, and why somebody would consider voting for a guy who has the intelligent level of a fifth grader over a man who's first of all a very good man and second of all he's doing a very good job second of all understands policy he understands international policy he understands things that are going on you might not love everything that he's doing right. but i promise you this guy knows how to drive the fucking car this guy doesn't even the, donald trump doesn't even have a, a a learner's permit yet to drive a car yeah. but you want to put him you know imagine donald trump driving oh my god Oof. like i can't I don't know if he he probably never has. Yeah, you know you're right. Why would he have? Okay, Lana, this clip here. This is a man. I you just gotta. I you probably heard it. All right, but we're gonna play it again because. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't heard it, somebody's got to explain to me how you listen to this and go, "That's my guy." Okay. This is Donald Trump for some reason praising. All right, just listen. In the history of the world. But now... Oh, sorry, wrong clip. God damn it, Lana, what am I doing? It's okay. No, it's not. It's around there somewhere. It's the right. same place, right? Nope. I don't think I queued it, but here I'm, I'm going to queue it. Don't worry about it. Everybody just hold on. Oh, All right, good. here it is. Nope, no, 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 no. Lana, are you still with me? Yeah. Oh, you can't see me? No, because I'm in a different screen. Oh, right. All okay. right. Can everybody just, somebody, if you want to go grab a drink real quick, go grab a drink. This will take me just a second. Take your time. And I found it. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're emptying out their mental institutions oh, right. into the United right. States, our beautiful country. And now... First of all, this is this is another thing that's just not true. And if you heard Mike Johnson, the speaker, the other day who was on... Uh, his microphone, whatever, his little press conference saying that there's a feeling in essence that immigrants are coming in illegally and voting. It's hard to prove, he said, but it's just a feeling. He's got a feeling that it's happening. Yeah, fuck it. That means it's a lie, but okay. It's a lie. I mean, that's just, that's even beyond a lie. It's just so you have no pride or you have no self-respect yeah, to go out there and say it. something that's already illegal in this country right. that you're trying to convince people that we you either don't have respect for yourself or you don't have respect for them. Right. That these people are coming in and voting illegal. That's so fucking ridiculous. Think Rudy Giuliani used to say, we don't have any proof. We just, we think yeah. so. He said that in fucking court. Yeah. In front of a judge. Yeah. All right. Let's listen to this clown. The prison populations all over the world are down. They don't want to report that. The mental institution population is down because they're taking people from insane asylums and from mental institutions. You know what the difference is, right? No An proof. insane asylum is a mental institution on steroids. Zero proof of this. Silence None. of the Lamb. Has anyone ever seen a Silence of go. the Lamb? The late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. It is my understanding that Hannibal Lecter, first of all, is a fictional character. Second of all, it is my understanding that in any of the books or movies that Hannibal Lecter has been in, I think he's still alive. I don't think he's dead. So I don't know why he's claiming that he's the late, great Hannibal Lecter. But I, you just think of the just, breaking news. That's just hilarious. Breaking news Trump was a uh, Trump, Joe, Trump Biden. Joe Biden is weak. But actually, this should be breaking news on all channels and say, did you hear what this fucking clown exactly. just said? Trump is actually weak. He's talking about Hannibal Lecter while they put this on the screen that Joe Biden is weak and this fool is talking about a fictional character being dead. 
and I don't but recall him Frank dying Fitch- in that movie. All right, let's let's. I, you got to hear this. It's just it's it's so bizarre. He oftentimes would have a friend for dinner. Remember the last scene? Excuse me, I'm about to have a friend for dinner. Is this poor doctor walked by? I'm about to have a friend for dinner, but Hannibal Lecter. Congratulations, the late great Hannibal Lecter. We have people that are being released into our country that we don't want in our country, and they're coming in totally unchecked, totally unvetted, and we can't let this happen. They're destroying our country, and we're sitting back, and we better damn well win this election. Okay, so first of all, immigrants are not destroying our country. In fact, they're helping the country. And I saw an article from the Washington Post that made the case that uh, immigration is actually helping the economy more than it is uh, it, uh, destroying that, the economy. Right, and that's one of the problems, right? It's like we lost millions of people. Um, we can't fill the jobs because people died during the pandemic. And we need immigration. We need immigrants. That's some of the problems that they're having in the freaking southern states and shit where they don't want immigrants and they need them the most because they keep putting children to work instead of like bringing immigrants in to do these jobs. Is it possible that they think immigrants are coming in and they're voting and that's the reason why Democrats are winning? Is it that can't be possible? They can't be that stupid. stupid. Like it's against, and when the I say they, law. I mean the the con- the the people in in Congress and and Donald Trump and all these. And he it's could be that stupid. Against but. the law, like how can that even be? Like, what are you talking about? Is it possible? I. I'll tell you, you want to have fun with anybody, a MAGA person, ask them, say, what's the number one issue that you have? And do you know what so many of them are going to say? It's going to say uh, illegals, immigrants, all that stuff. Taking all our jobs. Just ask them, say, hey, have you heard of um, Lake and Riley? And they'll go nuts. They'll be like, of course I've heard of Lake and Riley. She was murdered by an immigrant. And that's what the problem is. And that's where all we're having is like, yep, okay, Lake and Riley. Who's the other one? Name name another one. Because yeah, if it's exactly. that big of a problem, you shouldn't be able to name just one person. You should be able to name numerous people Ooh. that have been taken down by these immigrants that are coming there, in and killing people. There aren't. And Correct. right before that, we had those, what, three or four students and was it Idaho or something? With right. that, that white kid went in there and just stabbed them all up and then just left and drove away. I didn't hear Republicans talking about them. Why? Because it wasn't an immigrant. It was a white guy. So like, we can't talk about that. The statistics will tell you that (laughs) immigrants and the ones that are um, not here uh, legally are are probably more of the best behaved um, people in this country. Statistically, it'll just tell you that they commit less crimes than the people that live here because they know what happens to them if they commit a crime. They did everything they can to escape the worst possible things they were going through in their lives to get to America. And you think they're going to come here to just kill people or just rape people? You're so fucking dumb. And not to mention there are zero, none. There's very little proof of that. Yeah. You're going to find an anecdote here or there. You're going to find somebody here or there. That's going to happen because we're all just human beings at the end of the day. Sometimes are just not good people. It doesn't matter whether you're an immigrant. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what race, all that stuff. Sometimes people are just bad people. And you just happen to have caught somebody that was here that did not get here legally doesn't mean that this is an epidemic that we need to focus on more than anything. It's just so fucking stupid. It's not an epidemic. Mm -hmm. It is not an epidemic. Um, I I, I do want to play another clip of Donald Trump about how stupid this guy is. Sure. This is a guy who clearly doesn't understand words. He always says he understands words. He knows the best words. He knows the biggest words. Somebody asked him, Sir, how do you do it? How do you juggle all this stuff? This was his answer. To put it aside and to uh, think about other things, I can, uh, I'm very ambidextrous, so to speak. I can do a lot of things at one time. And uh, I'm willing to do and, and able to do things and lots of different things. I- He's ambidextrous, which means you can basically use your right and left hand. Um, 
<laughs> but he answered that, Lonnie. He sounded like somebody that was asked that question in fifth grade. Yeah, I could do like I could do things and like I'm ambidextrous because that was the word of the day my teacher taught me yesterday. Yeah, so. oh, he's wow. <laughs> But they want to vote for that fucking idiot. This guy, like, he's the smart one. Yeah, he's a smart one. Yeah. I just, I, I don't he's get strong. it. strong. Mm. I just don't get it. Um, Please like and subscribe. I'm going to say it again to Black and White with Brian Rundle and Londa Quest. Uh, 